Hey boys, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we single-handedly saved both Arise and Teddy from their shadow selves, overall destroying the Midnight Murderer's plans of getting rid of a third victim and adding two new Persona users to our party, one being a full-out support user, which is going to be Risei taking over Teddy's spots, and Teddy as a new fighter, which is actually pretty cool because of the fact that he said that he couldn't fight before, and now he is able to due to the fact that he now has a Persona. Um, with that, we have to kind of wait for Risei to kind of get back to normal, and we also kind of have to wait for Teddy to train himself back into normal proportions due to the fact that he's still kind of a burnt pancake at the moment. So with that, I believe we are ready to continue on our, our investigation and hang out with our free time events since now we're back into the free time stuff. So with that, first off's first is actually starting off with Margaret's stuff since... Yeah, her stuff is kind of easy to do. You just have to be the right level for it. Um, welcome to the Velvet Room. Um, Matador, and he is Mahama. You have successfully completed the request. What a beautiful persona. This is a fascinating dance performed by a true sportsman. I'm amazed. You're still young, but you hold such masculinity within your soul. Hmm, I can feel my heart beat faster. Thank you, I am strongly confident. You are the one I've been searching for. I want to see more of your soul. Margaret is smiling gently. You became a little more intimate with Margaret. And with that, into rank 3. And I actually did notice that that was actually different than the, the other two ones. Because the other two were very similar. And now she's actually mentioning which um, personas you're making, which is really cool. So with that, into rank 3 of the Empress, which is really easy. The Margaret social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown as well. <laughs> um, well then, for my next request, bring me a Jidon that knows Rampage. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. Um, I eagerly await your return. And with that, I'm actually going to tell you which ones you actually need for this. So I'll show it real quick. So if we go to all my registered personas, and we actually go to level, it's actually really easy to figure this out. So... If you go to the unicorn here, the unicorn knows Mahama, and then if you were to mix a unicorn and this thing called a, um, a Sairi, I believe it was called, I can easily find it. As soon as I see the name, I'll tell you exactly which one you need. Yeah, this guy, the Senri. As soon as you mix both the um, unicorn and the Senri here, you actually unlock the Matador, which is really easy. And then you literally don't even have to unlock the Mahama skill, it's literally already built into the unicorn, so... That's the easiest way to get it. So with that, I'll be right back while we get the Jidon, because of the fact that I actually already have one of those. But the thing is, is I have it without Rampage already. So technically, I have to merge this thing off, and I have to figure out what I want to actually turn it into. So with that, I'll be right back, and I'll go do that real quick. Okay, and now with the Jidon with Rampage actually made, let's actually go back to the Velvet Room now. So with that, we're actually into rank 4 already for Margaret, and thankfully you can do all these in one day, and you don't have to do these over the course of multiple days in order to get it. Um, welcome to the Velvet Room. This Jidon has Rampage. I see you have successfully completed the request. Do you know I asked you to bring me such a beast? Because I wanted you to be aware that even an innocent boy like you can harbor such a dreadful creature inside. And I wanted to ride on it for a bit. But this persona seems too hot for me. Can I extinguish its flame? <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't harm your persona, nor you yourself. I think... Margaret is smiling gently. You became a little more intimate with Margaret. And with that, into rank 4 of the Empress Arcanum. And also, um, with that, due to the fact that you've made a couple personas with her, you actually do get a reward for actually making personas in this game, thankfully. The Margaret Social Link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown as well. Um, well then, for my next request, I would like a Neko Shogun, capable of using Bufala. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I eagerly await your return. 
And with that, we actually can't make that right away, due to the fact that we actually have to learn how to make multiple versions of the um, little fusion wheel. Since we only have three, we actually have to have a four-star fusion, uh, fusion wheel, which we don't have that yet. Which we will be unlocking very shortly, it's just due to the fact that it's not unlocked yet. So with that, I'm actually going to show you guys what you actually need to actually get that thing. So for me, I actually wrote this down. So if you get a high pixie, which is something we've been using for quite some time, so one of these with, um, it, this one doesn't have rampage, but you need one of these to actually make it. So with one of those, and then you also get an Aries, one of these, which comes with rampage at level 28. If you mix both Aries with a high pixie, you end up making the Gidon, which then you get your rampage and it's basically done. So with that, um, there's actually nothing for us to do on this specific day, so I'm actually going to go rebuy all my, um, my personas for my stuff, just to make the social link stuff easier to unlock and stuff like that, because that's the whole point of the personas during the daily life, is just having them as bonus allies for increasing your social link points. So I'm going to go buy all the ones we actually need for today's episode, and I'll be right back. Okay, with all of that other stuff out of the way, since usually I keep all the fusion stuff out of episodes because one, I kind of feel like it's kind of out of the out of the way because of the fact that you kind of have to kind of focus when you go to actually fusing stuff because you want to make sure that you're actually fusing what you want to fuse. So that's the reason why I usually cut those parts out. So because of the whole thing with Margaret being a social link and Marie being a social link, I keep those in, but I cut out all the fusion stuff, so I just wanted you guys to kind of understand now why I don't usually keep the fusion stuff and why I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to keep, because it's all, basically, all the stuff you have to know, and you need to know where you're going with it. Like, um, the Neko Shogun, for instance, we have to know that there's going to be a day in the future that it's going to actually unlock that, and it's via the story that you unlock it. So, basically, you would get all the, like, little raindrop enemies, or personas, and you turn them all into a Neko Shogun, and it's easily to get the Bufala because one of them actually just comes with it. So, I just want to um, kind of, like, say that. Also, I found out how to actually get Kanji, so we will be doing that today as well. But that's going to be later, because we actually have to wait for a girl to show up right next to this little stairway here, in order for it to actually show up. So, with that, we're going to continue with Yosuke's um, social link, because I want to actually get him to rank 10 today. So, let's do this. Um, Yos Boots, hey, you're free, wanna go somewhere? Yosuke wants to go somewhere, since you have Puyu Po, a persona of the Magician Art Kalana, you feel like you could become closer soon. Would you like to hang out with Yosuke? Yes, I will. Um, alright, let's go then. Yosuke looks happy, and with that, let's actually increase Yosuke up to his ninth social rank, meaning he only has one more left after this. The hill overlooking town, you brought Yosuke here. Or Yosuke brought you here, oops, I misread that completely. Um, I hated this place when I first came to the Inaba. You can tell how small this town really is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. <laughs> Honestly, it really is. Yosuke is smiling sadly. Um, cheer up. Yeah, cheer up, buddy. Um, if it were only that easy. Yosuke has a self-mocking smirk on his face. <laughs> what you smirking about? Um, I want to tell Sanki-senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Um, this town I hated so much. Now I love it. There's still nothing here, but I have family and friends in you. The important things are never far off. They're all around you. Hmm, true. Actually, pretty wise what you just said. Yusuke seems a little bit embarrassed. Hmm, <laughs> why you embarrassed, bud? Um, I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would be finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. Hmm, <laughs> I understand, bud. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life, before you know it, you're already special to someone. True. Actually, yeah, you're pretty right on that. Um, yeah, I like you. You're special to me, you know. <laughs> Yosuke is rubbing his nose. <laughs> No problem, bud. I don't mind being your friend. You, you can feel Yosuke's warm trust. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. And with that, into the ninth social link. 
for Yosuke Hanamura, but actually, we don't even know what we actually get for getting rank 9 yet, since this is our first time for a party member. The Yosuke Hanamura social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Magician Arcana has grown as well. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Ooh, that's actually really helpful. When you receive a mortal blow, your ally will take the hit once per battle. Cool, cool. That's actually really good. That's basically a second Endure. But for us, instead, because we can't do Endures on ourselves unless we get a Persona with Endure built in. So that's actually really nice to have, since we don't have anything like that so far. Um, alright. Let's see if we can find everyone's house from here. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue where anyone's houses are. Um, there's Junus, and that's the main street. So my house is there. The one with the funky roof. Um, meaning yours is... Do you even know where it is? Oh yeah, you do, because you've been there. You spent a long time, or a long while, with the Yosuke. Okay, with 628 now upon us, let's actually hang out with Ko and Dasuke. Since it's been quite a bit since we've actually hanged out with these two. Hmm, hey spooks. You're going to practice, right? Since you have Kusi Matamai, you feel like you're going to become closer soon. Will you attend basketball practice with this afternoon? Honestly, go to practice. Oh, sweet. Let's give it all best shot. Ko looks happy. And with that, we're going to hang out with Ko and Dasuke. Wasn't something um, with Dasuke told us to kind of help out Ko due to the fact that his parents are kind of like, you know, basically um, taking over his life at this point. Or they always have been, but it's... They don't want him being in barbaric sports, basically, due to his grandmother, based on what I kind of remembered. He also got me high school, Jim. <laughs> you attended basketball practice, and your diligence has increased. Your diligence has now changed from persistent to strong, and that means we can actually do more there. Um, huh. the others already left. This is exactly why this team is, um, whatever. Hey, good news, you're getting a team manager. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work of anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. Um, hello. Ooh, another portrait. Okay, so she's gonna be important now. Um, I, Ibi Hara. Um, great. You can take it from here. I'm going home. <laughs> oh, it was a PE teacher again. Oops. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up. I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. Wow, okay, then why are you working for a basketball team? Huh? Then why'd you- Um, I missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even gonna be here. Um, well, see ya, or not. Okay, well, bye-bye. So she's important, but it looks like she just literally left this social link entirely. Hmm, yeah. That's about what I expected when I saw I here. So much for having a manager. Anyways, I'm hungry. Let's grab some food. Okay, yeah, let's get on out of here. So it looks like our basketball manager that used to be Ko is no longer even wanting to be here, so that's good. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner I am. Oh yeah, this is where uh, we went with Daisuke the last time we saw them. Or only him, actually, because Ko completely left us during that social link. Hmm, man. This place has been calling to me in my dreams, ever since I had to bail on you guys last time. <laughs> um, how'd it go? Um, what? The dream? Oh, you mean my with my family. Well, it's complicated. Ko is laughing. Hmm. Um, Dosuke told you all about it, right? Spooks. Um, my family is pretty interesting. Arranged marriages for political gain are pretty standard with us. Just the other day, I was greeting people at one of those high society gatherings. Can you imagine me at one of those things? Hmm. Honestly, I can see that. Honestly. Haha. <laughs> so you can tell how refined I truly am, Spooks. Ko is laughing jokingly. Um, anyway, if you ever run into anyone in my family, don't tell them I eat here or talk like this. And home, it's nothing but studying tea ceremonies in lessons to them. I'm the prim and proper Kosama. Uh, Kosama? Mm, yep, that's what they called me. I know it sounds crappy, but hey, they feed me and give me allowance. Um, I need to do my part too, you know. Hmm, I guess. Um, I don't know, man. Hmm, honestly, same with that, it's not okay. Mm, oh, it doesn't matter, it might all be over soon anyway. Hmm? 
Oh, do you mean by um, the grandmother trying to take you out in the basketball thing? Well, an old-fashioned family, so the Ishio name has been passed from generation to generation. When the last male of the family, my dad, didn't have any kids to pass the name on to. Well, they weren't going to let the Ishio name just up and die, so they adopted me. Hmm, so you're not even part of their family then? So that makes even less sense why they're forcing you to do everything. And what do you know? My dad ended up having a kid after all. A girl. I guess you could say she's a little sister to me. Her name is Sashiko. She's almost two, and she's really cute, you know. Hmm, Ko tries to sound cheerful. Um, cheer up, man. Yeah, cheer up, bud. Cheer up. Come on, I've got more cheer than I, you know. I know what to do with. See, just look at me. Ko grins. I guess he is happy. Hmm. Oh, it's better this way. Okay, if you say so. Becoming the successor would be a major hassle, and really it should go to a blood relative. I guess so. Honestly, I don't know anything about all that, so I'm just saying I guess so because I really don't know. Oh, um, sorry. Didn't mean to put a damper on the mood. Come on, let's eat. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's eat. Your heart-to-heart -heart talk with the players showed you Dasuke and Ko's trust. Hmm, cool. And with that, we also get the rank 4 for their personas as well, which is really good. Or not personas, but Arcana, I guess. Rank 4 Strength Fellow Athletes. Or Ko, specifically. The Fellow Athlete Social Link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Strength Arcana has grown as well. Um, just forget I said any of that stuff. Oh man, I did... Did I tell you guys about that one in a million shot I made? Hmm? Did you really do that? You talked about practice with Dasuke and Ko. After saying goodbye, you decided to go home. Okay, with the evening now upon us, and me actually knowing how to actually rank up Nanako's um, social link now, because of the fact that I thought I was literally not able to progress in it, we can actually start progressing in it now, because now I actually know how this works. Um, hey big bro, um, why do people die? Is Nanako talking about her mother, who died in an accident? Nanako is looking straight at you. This is a difficult question for a girl Nanako's age to understand, but with your level of expression, you are able to explain it to her. Since you have the power around Persona of the Justice Arcana, you feel like you're going to become closer soon. Will you spend the evening with Nanako? Honestly, let's do it. Um, okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. And with that, we're finally progressing in Nanako's social link again, because I honestly thought I was unable to do the fact that it said it doesn't look like you'll be able to become any closer anytime soon. So thankfully I was able to figure that out, and it was only because you needed multiple points in order to actually rank it up. She's the most points you actually need in order to get into a social link. So it's like 10, basically, so you need to get up to 10 points each time you want to get a social link with her. So thankfully I was able to figure that out because I had to look it up. But thankfully now that we know that, we can actually do this from now on. So we will be finishing her social link now, unlike before because I wasn't sure what was actually going on. Because if we didn't find it out, we more than likely weren't going to ever finish her social link. So thankfully I looked it up and we actually have that now. He decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. Um, I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako is nodding her head cheerfully. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, anything else you want to know? Um, well, um, well, oh, these. Nanako's eyes are gleaming. Um, what happens to a person when they die? Um, based on the best option here, they go to heaven. Honestly, I don't believe all of that stuff, but that's more of my own religious standing point. Honestly, I don't mind what people believe in, as long as they're happy with what they believe in and that there is something to their afterlife coming up. I honestly don't mind anybody's social standing when it comes to religion and stuff like that. Honestly, as long as you're happy with what you believe in, that's what counts at the end of the day, to be completely honest. Um, um so it's true. Mommy went to heaven. Nanako is smiling happily. Um, oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Rather at the post office. Um, why do people do bad things? Um, honestly, I don't know. And that's my honest opinion on that, out of all three of those, and ended up being what I would actually said. Um, I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. Nanako looks relieved. Well, obviously, her character's not a bad person. Um, but there was no bad people. Dad would be, a, be home more. 
Last year, there were many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Hmm. Um, are bad people more important to Dad than I am? Um, he's protecting you. Yeah, he definitely is. Um, I don't get it. Nanako is thinking. Hmm, I don't know if she'll really even understand that. But hopefully she will eventually. It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness sto sto stoically. You feel that you're under you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. Hmm, okay then. Well, at least we're finally getting to understand Nanako again, since we weren't able to do so before. Rank 4 of the Justice Arcana has now been unlocked. The Nanako Junk Dojima social link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown as well. Well, let's talk about something else, Big Bro. You decided to talk about something different with the, lo the lonely looking Nanako. <laughs> yeah, let's stop talking about death around her, because we really shouldn't be talking about that for too long around a kid her age, because that's, that's actually a really depressing topic, to be honest. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Okay, looky looky who I found. So here it is. So this is how you unlock Kanji's social link, because the game will not do it for you. You have to kind of search for it yourself. And this is actually how you start it, so let's start off with this female student here. Um, I'm tired of coming to school. I can't believe they let that Tatsumi in here. I hear that he started his own gang and goes around bullying people. How do I get in? Um, how did I get to be into the same class as him? He's out snooping around the practice building right now. How scary is that? It seems Kanji is bullying people. Are the rumors true? Honestly, I highly doubt that due to his personality. So with that, we're actually going to go head over to the practice building and go and start Kanji's social link for the very first time because we had no way of actually progressing with him before because you actually had to do that first. Um, whoa, Spook Senpai. Always peeping inside. It's not like that. So, uh, why are you making that scary face at me? Do you have something to tell me? Um, yes I do. Um, I see. Let's go somewhere else then. And with that, we officially now are starting his social link. That's literally how he starts. Samagawa Flood Plains. He brought Kanji here to learn the truth behind the rumors. Honestly, I feel like he didn't do that. I think it's just because of his attitude and people being scared of him that they're making rumors. It's literally the same case for um, Ren in Persona 5. So literally, I have a feeling it's probably the exact same thing. But the thing is, is Kanji's much scarier than Ren is when it comes to, um, well, the way he looks and the obvious personality difference between the two. So yeah, definitely he probably gets scarier rumors than Ren does. From what I've seen so far. Um, uh, what do you want? Drag me out here. Um, oh, you're, you're here to tell me off or something? Um, I'm just here to talk. Yeah, I just want to talk to you, bud. Um, how come you sound like a cop? Um, honestly, I don't know why. Uh, so, what is it? Let's see here. You asked Kanji about his ties to the gang of bullies. Honestly, I highly doubt him being in a gang due to the fact that he beat some biker gangs. There's no way he's actually in a gang of bullies, because that was the whole point, is he didn't like those kind of people. Because he literally told us. Um, uh, bullies? Me? Oh, uh, simply you suspect me. Um, I want to believe in you. Yeah, honestly, true. I want to believe you. Oh, uh, simply I didn't do it. I mean, maybe it ain't that easy to trust me since they say I was in a gang. Well, you want to believe me. Uh, so, my own fault rumors like that go around, huh? Then this ring will be causing trouble for you guys. Um, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry, bud. Oh, uh, senpai. Hmm. Um, whenever you got time, could you maybe hear what I have to say? I feel all crammed inside. I'm too dumb to know what it's about. Aw, oh, you're not dumb, bud. Clumsy as he is. It seems Kanji is looking for an opportunity to change. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Kanji. And with that, we finally have the Emperor, or Arcana. Because, one, I actually had an Emperor um, when it comes to the actual Arcana for the longest time. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Emperor Arcana. And with that, we finally have rank one of the Emperor. 
which means we can finally actually getting, um, well, we finally get stuff for Kanji, and we also finally get, uh, XP, XP bonuses when actually making Emperor cards, because Emperor Arcana stuff is actually really strong, and usually you would be more than likely building that. So, yeah, definitely something you want to have. You have established the Kanji Tatsumi social link of the Emperor Arcana. You may now earn EXP bonuses when fusing Personas of the Emperor Arcana. Kanji's determination in battle has been enhanced. Kanji can now wake up a knockdown opponent al or ally, I mean, during battle. I keep saying opponent, I don't know why, that's like the third time I've said that. Um, to make sure I don't cause you any trouble. Um, um well I guess I should smack the gang bullies around. Um, I guess you could do that. That would be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But it would do whatever you feel like you need to do. You talked with Kanji for a while and went home. Okay, with the evening now upon us, let's actually get to rank 7 for Dojima. Um, boots, boots. What's wrong, Gord? Since you have the Unicorn and Persona of the Hierophant Arcana, you feel like you're going to become closer soon. Would you like to spend time with Dojima? Honestly, yes. Um, you're that bored. Well, have a seat. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy, and we're getting actually to actually finally learning what's going on with Dojima, so it's actually really nice to kind of see why he acts the way he is, and that's really good that we actually progress this far with the social link, because it makes you understand him a little bit more, and not actually like full out, like not understand what he's talking about. Because before, when he was talking about some of these subjects, you really didn't understand why he was the way he was, and why he was so hard on everybody. And now, when we're actually going through it, we're actually understanding more and more if we weren't this far into the game already when it came to the social link and didn't even get to the um, social link yet. I feel like we wouldn't understand Dojima at all. So thankfully, we have been focusing on this, so actually it's like one of the best things that we did this, because now we understand his character a lot more, and are less harsh on his character for certain um, flaws that he's he's taken throughout the adventure so far, basically is what I'm trying to say. You talk with Dojima about various things. Oh, hey Nanako, long time to see. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Mm. Oh, it's uh, that late already. Night. Mm. Hmm. Oh, uh, what? What is it, Nanako? Um, you said you would read me a book before bed. Yeah, okay, yep, you go do that, Dojima. Um, oh, that's right. Please go do it, Dojima, you promised her some stuff. Um, I got it, I got it. Just a few pages. Oh, he's actually gonna do it. Um, yay! <laughs> Good job, Dojima, you're finally doing something as a dad. Um, hold on. Hmm, what is it? I guess I'm working in. Uh, Dojima here. Um, Ijarasan. Oh, yeah, yeah, that means. Well, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna be there in just a few. Hmm. Well, you probably should at least read a couple pages to your daughter before going to work, please. Um, I understand. Goodbye. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna end up, like, completely forgetting about it? Um, Tan, are you leaving? Um, uh, it's my job. Please do it, dude. Um, but you said you'd read me a book. Yeah, you did, and you need to start promising, but you promised me that you'd do so. Um, I can do that any time. Um, this is more important, huh? Please, dude. You really need to. Um, of course not. Don't you must sign quietly. Thank you. Okay, finally. He's finally getting to it. Um, are you two fighting? Um, you can go, Dad. No, please do it. You really need to start being a father, dude. Um, no, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's okay. Um, I'm promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Um, yay! <laughs> Good job, finally. We finally broke him, and finally got him to actually get out of his shell, because the whole reason why he didn't want to do it is because he didn't feel like he was able to be a father. And we finally broke him out of that shell, so now he's starting to crack, and now we're actually getting him to actually be what he wanted to be, but he felt like he couldn't be because he felt like the mother was the only one able to actually have any kind of, like, relationship with Nanako do the way that they were. So that's actually really good that they're actually bonding now, and we're actually getting them to kind of actually connect instead of being as far apart as they were when we first, first arrived here, so that's actually really good. Nanako went to her room with Dojima. <laughs> well, I guess we'll wait till Dojima- oh, here he is. Oh, man, she made me read the whole thing. 
<laughs> hey, instead of a few pages, it looks like you actually read it, bud. Hmm, uh, let's talk. What is it about, bud? We gonna talk more about the, um, the whole mother situation? Uh, the phone call is from Ijihara-san, my former sensei. Or senpai. Was it senpai? Oh, senpai. Um, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Chisano's hit and run investigation. He was calling to tell me that the test results were in. Hmm, really? Uh, judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the results, but... Hmm. Dojimon looks severely disheartened. Hmm. Um, it was a white sedan. Most likely large and American. I expected no such cars registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car is out of the country by now. Hmm. So it's been- it literally went overseas on the boat then. For sure then. Um, it scares me. Then I couldn't catch the perp. Then I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. Then I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice the way she looks at like her mother, I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality, and it scares me. Aw, poor Dojima. He just wants to be a good dad, but he doesn't know how to yet. Huh. I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Hmm. Well, I am technically family at the end of the day. Dojima confided in you. You feel that you understand Dojima more. Hmm. <laughs> I think I do too as well, honestly. And I think by the final um, final conversation with him, we'll fully understand his character. Because there's still small portions that we need to fix in him that would be best dealt in a conversation, in a long conversation like these little uh, social links. So I feel like we'll eventually fully understand him and fully help him break out of his shell through the next few social links with both, um, with maybe even Nanako's as well. I think we need to do both in order to fully repair that um, familiar bond when it comes to both of them. So hopefully once we actually do both, they'll actually be a little bit more closer than they are now, let's be honest. But hopefully it does end up being that way. But let's, let's see here. The Ryotaro Dojima social link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas in Hierophant and Arcana has grown as well. Um, I know I can't stay this way forever. Well, you're still here. I need to face myself. Hmm, yeah, you definitely do. You sat with Dojima for some time, in silence, before going to your room. Okay, now it's 6.30 now upon us. Let's actually get rank 2 for Kanji, since his literally opens up right back after the other one. Because for some reason, you need 0 points for both rank 1 and rank 2, which is kind of funny. Oh, you spook, senpai. Oh, you have some time. Kanji seems to have some free time. Since you have King Frost, a persona of the Emperor Kana, you feel like you can become closer soon. Will you spend time, or the afternoon, with Kanji? Honestly, let's do it. Oh, sweet. Kanji looks happy. And with that, let's hang out with Kanji and see how he's doing now. Maybe we can kind of help him break out of his shell as well, just like Dojima. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner I am. You came here with Kanji's request. Hmm. I'm guessing you like this place. Oh, man, I'm starving for some Chinese. But if I eat, then I then go home, I can't finish mom's food. She's hurt so much, I think I'd have value brothers. Oh, she's trying to make my stomach burst. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hmm. Random guy just running inside the store talking about Kanji. Um, aren't you Kanji Tatsumi? Why are you doing here? Hmm? He can't just be here? Um, can't you tell? Hey, you're gone. What do you mean, what am I doing here? Um, just what I said. There's been quite a commotion around here lately. Um, well, maybe if you didn't do- did, Maybe you did your job, then you get quieter, hmm? Hmm. Um, you need to fix that attitude. Oh well, just don't pull anything on it. Hmm. They're really just pushing him, aren't they? Um, I didn't. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Uh, I have gotta- I'm gonna eat somewhere else. Yeah, get out of here. You're just um, harassing him at this point. He literally did nothing, and you're just literally pushing his buttons for no reason. And then they wonder why Kanji's the way he is. Like, seriously, I already understand it now. Um, asshole. The guns are always like that. As soon as they spot me, it's, what are you doing? They look suspicious. And all of that bullshit. Meh, I'm used to it. Hmm. Aw, oh, poor dude. Um, sorry for getting you mixed up in this, senpai. I really am just a troublemaker for you and for mom. 
Uh, she's always apologized for me. She's been sprouting more and more white hairs. Hmm. You just need to change, and apparently that's the best one to say to him. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Kanji is nodding earnestly. Hmm, I guess he wants to change. Um, fully piety, right? I don't really know what to do. Or so I thought. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Um, I'm gonna use this power I got and make this town peaceful. Um, I've been causing nothing but trouble, but now I can finally return the favor. So let's get started. Let's get to it, senpai. <laughs> you can feel Kanji's enthusiasm. You feel you're un you understand Kanji even more. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I really wanted to know more about his character, and I was really, like, I was really confused before, because we weren't getting his, um, his social link right away, and his was, like, kind of, like, you had to kind of go out of your way to find it. I had to search it up just to find out how to do it, I'm not gonna lie. And, apparently, his doesn't open up until 6-9, and if you didn't know that, you wouldn't even know where to go. So, literally, it's, like, completely out of the way that... Like, I'm not even sure how you would even know this. Apparently, the game came with a strategy guide when it originally came out in Japan. I don't know about the English release, but yeah, I had no clue actually how to get this one until I actually searched it up. So, thankfully, the internet, um, lore masters ended up saving me at the end of the day because I really wanted to see Kanji's social link, and now we finally have it actually progressing. Ring 2, the Emperor Arcana. Thank you, thank you. The Kanji Tatsumi social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Emperor Arcana has grown as well. Kanji's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. I wonder what his is going to give him. Dizzy boost. Okay, so it means any dizzy skills are going to be more effective. Although I don't even think I even have any dizzy spells yet. Um, hey chief, is over it yet? Um, huh. You ordered something, Kanchan. I um, told you not to call me Kanchan. An update order, liver, liver leak, uh, stir fry, and pot stickers. Uh, I'm gonna tear your store apart so fast you won't have time to file for insurance. <laughs> um, oh, uh, well. <laughs> you need to change what you said. I'm gonna tear it apart and rebuild twice as good. I'm gonna renovate your ass. <laughs> um, sounds good to me. <laughs> you went home after eating it, I am. That was actually pretty funny, as a little social link. I actually really enjoyed that one. Okay, with seven ones daytime not having anything, but we actually do have something for the nighttime to do, which is rank five for Nanako, so let's do this. Um, it's raining. Um, yeah. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Since you have power in the persona of the Justice Arcana, you feel like you're going to become closer soon. Will you spend the after evening with Nanako? Sure, let's do it. Um, okay, yay. Nanako looks happy. And with that, so we're finally getting into the halfway point for hers, which I honestly didn't think was actually going to be happening anytime soon, to be honest. He decided to watch TV with Nanako. It's a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Hmm. Nanako is staring at, into the TV. Hmm. It seemed like something you wouldn't know all about, because that sounds pretty much like you and your dad, but you're, like, close by, but in the way, you're kind of still searching for him in a way. Um, real father? Um, what do they mean by real? Um, a person you love a lot. I honestly think that. Okay, then you're my real big brother. Nanako looks really happy. Hmm, I guess so in a way. And dad's my real father. Hmm, but I don't think dad really loves me. Um, maybe... Maybe I'm not real to him. Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter. Um, did he say that? Yeah, did he? Um, no. It looks like Nanako has stopped worrying. Well, there you go, and there's your answer. Um, Mom, why did she leave me? When Mom was still here, we all went home together. We picked flowers at Samagawa. Um, Nanako talked about some about her memories. He understood Nanako's true feelings a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what to say about that to help her out there. Hmm, rank 5 of the Justice Arcana has now been unlocked. The Nanako do Dojima social link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown as well. Um, hey, big brown. Hmm, what is it, Nanako? It's about Nanako's bedtime. What should you do? Um, listen to her talk or talk with her? Um, listen to her talk. You don't have enough understanding. Yeah, I'm still on rank 2 of that, so that makes sense. Um, talk with her. So let's do that one instead. Um, yay. 
Um, um, then let's play the word game. Nanako looks happy. Um, then we'll start with W from word. Um, W, W, worm. You played a word game with Nanako. Hmm, okay. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Okay, with 7-2 now upon us, and also I found out something about Adachi. So Adachi is no longer going to be available during the daytime for the next couple social links, apparently. So um, in order to actually provoke his social links again, you kind of have to talk to him at Junus, and then he'll tell you that he's kind of busy at the moment. And now you can actually start progressing his, his social links at nighttime instead of the daytime. So actually, that's actually going to be better, since there's less social links during nighttime, since you literally can't uh, rank up most social links during the um, nighttime section anyways. So it literally gives you another thing to do at nighttime if you don't have anything else to do. So that actually makes it really easy. So with that, so we're actually going to be hanging out with, da with Adachi more than likely tonight, based on how I just talked to him and told and he basically told me to hang out with him later tonight. And there wasn't really anything story-wise, so I didn't have to keep it, or at least I didn't think so. So with that, let's actually talk to Kanji and rank him up to rank 3. Um, hey, spook senpai. You have some time? Kanji seems to have some free time. Since you have King Frost, you feel like you're going to become closer soon. Will you spend the afternoon with Kanji? Yes, sir. Um, sweet. Kanji looks happy. Uh, want to stop by my place? Ma said she wanted to meet you. Okay, let's do it. I actually, we haven't even met his mother yet, so let's actually do this, because um, we kind of need to figure out who actually his mother is, since we know, um, what do you call it? What was it? Yukiko's? No, not Yukiko's. Actually, now that I think about it, no, wait, we met, actually, no, we technically did meet Kanji's, um, mother, because we went there during the, um, yeah, actually, yeah, we did. So technically, this is like a second meeting in a way. Now I think about it, I completely forgot we met her for the textile shop. I forgot his mother was the textile shop owner, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's been a couple, couple, like, episodes since. And it has been quite a bit since, because these episodes are pretty long. So some information kind of does go through my head and out the other, like, out the other ear, basically. So yeah, that makes sense why I forgot that. Since it is very small information. Central Shopping District. You came to Tatsumi Textiles. Hmm. Um, gonna warn you, there is nothing fun here. Well, I've kind of been here before, but I honestly don't mind coming back here. Um, hey, Ma, I'm home. Hmm. She's not there, I'm guessing? Uh, she ain't here. What's she doing leaving the store open? That's weird. Hmm, Kanchan, there you are. Hmm? Oh, this guy. It was the guy from the Aya store that we literally just saw in the last one. Um, your mother's at the hospital. Hmm? Uh, the hospital? Um, let's hurry. Yeah, let's get out of here. We need to get there quick. Um, uh, oh, you. Yeah, I need to go and see. Yeah, we need to get there soon. I only heard from a customer, but she's at an Inaba munis Municipal Hospital. Hurry, go. Okay. Yeah, we're heading there now. Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Aya store owner. And it looks like he's actually grown to Kanji as well, which is nice. Inaba Municipal Hospital. Because he would have never came up and told him if um, if he didn't feel like doing so. Hmm. Is that her? I remember her having the same model. Uh, Ma, you alright? Uh, you were taken to the hospital. Someone do this to you? Oh, goodness. But you look pale. Uh, never mind me. What about you? Huh? You're okay? Hmm, looks like she's fine. I wasn't taken to the hospital. I took someone. Hmm? Uh, no? Why'd you take someone? Oh, you took, I'm guessing, this boy then. This poor boy got hit by a bicycle right in front of our shop. He hit his head, so I had a doctor examine him. Hmm, oh, that's pretty nice of you. He said there's no damage, thank goodness. Hmm, that's good at least. The one who hit him was a boy from your school. When he saw the poor child fall, he ran away. Why don't you find him and give him a good little scolding? Hmm? Oh, uh, good crap. Hmm? Oh, uh, you got no idea how it felt. Haha, <laughs> I'm fine. Your mother isn't kicking the bucket that easily. It's not like you get, to, uh, get so worried over such a little thing. Oh, uh, shut up, you old girl. <laughs> you shouldn't have called her that. Looks like she didn't even take it anyways. I think she was just like, eh, basically, because she's probably heard everything from him at this point. <laughs> Which is kind of messed up, but 
<laughs> he shouldn't have called her that, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Sounds like it was no big deal. Um, honestly, I don't blame him. He really thought his mother was hurt, so he got all freaked out and then found out she was perfectly fine and got and noticed he over-exaggerated at first and then completely freaked out because he didn't know how to actually betray his own emotions yet, since we're kind of trying to help him with that to the moment. Um, yeah. If it's not just me, then I guess it's okay. Kanji still looks embarrassed. Hmm. Um, I thought I faced all of my bad parts back there. But not everything to change just like that, huh? Huh? Honestly? It takes a little bit more, um, kind of a lot of, um, basically a lot of your oh, yourself to change yourself, basically, is how it's kind of how it works. You can't just change it all in one day. It takes multiple days and multiple, like, actual wanting to change to force yourself into changing yourself, basically. Even though it's not, like, the easiest thing to do, it does take a long time to do, unless you go through, like, a full-on, like, basically mental change, but that doesn't normally happen out of the blue, to be completely honest. Unless you live in the Persona 5 world, and then that happens all the time. But, yeah. Definitely something you can't just do in one day. Oh, oh, sorry, um, uh, for draining you around. I've been my- uh, if I've been myself, um, I might have been even more scared. Huh. Hope I can repay the favor. It seems you were able to support Kanji. You sense his trust in you. Hmm. I think I understand him too a little bit more. He's just a scared little dude. He, although he's not little, but he definitely is scared at heart and doesn't know what to do yet. And we kind of knew that from his um from his dungeon. He basically already admitted to that, being scared of everything because he didn't know how to act and just wanted people to actually accept him for who he was. So honestly, I see how he really is. He's just he's a bad boy, but he doesn't know how to be good is basically how it is, and hopefully we can actually help him with that and reforming himself into who he really wants to be. And it's, this whole bad boy phase is just something that he just doesn't know how to work with yet, and once he actually has a good like social support group, he can actually finally get out of this like like funk that he's been in and actually start being the person that, the, being the person he wants to be instead of being the person that he's been kind of forced to be, in a way, basically is how I understand it. The Kanji Tsumi social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Emperor Kana has grown as well. Kanji's determination in battle has been enhanced. He can now perform a follow-up attack during battle. Oh, I'll take it. It's actually better than having nothing. Um, I'm going home. Okay, see you later, Kanji. Oh, look who it is. I think that's why he probably ran off. Hmm, that boy. You were, you were both going home. He didn't have to run away like that. Oh, your spooks, Kun. You came to our store with Yugi-chan, right? I've been hearing a lot about you from Kanji. Senpai this and senpai that. He must really like you. I'm sorry to have made you both come all the way here. He hates hospitals, you see. Hmm, I, under I think I understand. His father, my husband, died here. Oh, now it makes even more sense. So he thought his mother died, and that was the reason why he was freaking out even more. I kind of, I kind of understood that to begin with. I kind of thought that she got hurt or something. I didn't think die, but I thought she got hurt at least. So yeah, I understand it. He over exaggerated and thought she actually died, and that's why he was freaking out as much more than he actually needed to. But honestly, I wouldn't be freaking out too if I heard my mother was in the hospital. To be completely honest. Kanji happened to be somewhere else when he collapsed, so I think he was scared today. Haha, <laughs> but it's good to see you. He's always had trouble getting along with people. He didn't have any friends like you before. Hmm, because of his attitude? I feel like that's the most uh, most obvious a action out of the three, because there's no reason to bring up his hobbies or his looks, so it's definitely- actually his looks would be a one, but that sounds kind of mean. I think his attitude would be the best one here. Hmm, not part of it. He's become clumsy, inarticulate, and cowardly. Hmm, like a lion, basically, from the Wizard of Oz. Hmm, he would always rather play house instead of catch, or go to home ec instead of PE. So he never really had any male friends, but the girls didn't accept him either. After a while, he started getting into fights every day and bleaching his hair. Hmm, so that's not even his normal hair color. So he's like, um, what do you call it? So that's why, um, the what do you call it? 
<laughs> okay. So now I'm starting to see it. Okay, okay. So that's- so that- okay. I was wondering why that was a thing when it came to Persona 5. So it's not a one-time thing where a character bleaches their hair because of things going on in their life. It's actually, it was first from Kanji, and then they kind of like pushed that over into P5, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I'm starting to see some of the things that they ended up using from P4, and now I'm understanding it more since now I, since I'm through P5 and Strikers, I now understand the whole story for P5. Except for the royal parts, because the royal parts are new stuff, and I still haven't got to play that, of course, since I still have the game, and I still haven't even got to play it yet, because I don't even have the console yet. But, definitely am seeing the, um, the things here, so that's cool. I'm liking that there is, like, some things that they ended up using in the other games, and they kind of, like, reuse some of the formats that they thought were, like, kind of fun to add into the games and stuff. Or, like, little references to the other games, which is kind of cool. Hmm, I was worried about him, but lately he seems to be having fun. Please take care of him. I will, or at least I'll try. Um, you feel you understand Kanji a bit more. You parted with Kanji's mother and went home. And with that, into the evening section. And since we know where we're going, we're more than likely going to be hanging out with the Dachi now. Oh, welcome back! Hey, Nanako. Long time no see. But we're actually going to go and hang out with the Dachi now, since that was what we were planning for. So, let's go see what he's doing now. Since now his social link is entirely night-based for some reason. Since... Before it was actually easy to actually rank his up, but now, for some reason, they wanted to change it into the night section. Even though he didn't seem like he was busy at all during the day sections, to be completely honest. And he was just wasting time at the Juness um, department grocery store for some reason, and then said that he was busy all of a sudden, even though he really wasn't. Uh, hmm, what a coincidence. What are you doing out so late? It's dangerous, you know, um, go home. Nashi seems to be on his way home from work. Since you am Gur, a persona of the Jester Arcana, you feel like you two might get along well, and your relationship will become closer soon. Will you spend the evening with the Dachi? Honestly, let's do it. Spend some time with the Dachi. Um, you must have a lot of time on your hands. Dojima-san will be on your ass, you know. Dachi is smiling mischievously. Hmm, <laughs> you little trickster. I understand why you're the Jester now, because all you do is joke around. Okay, Shopping District Sozai Gaku. Well, this place is closed, so you can't go here. Um, I knew it. Stories are out here, um, out here closed too soon. Well, you can still go to Aya, I guess, or that one, uh, pub place that you can go to. Um, I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something, but then I got lazy. Mm, what should I do? I have tons of Nimono at home. Um, mm, oh, I thought it was gonna be him talking. Why, Toro-chan, how is work? Are you still working hard? Um, oh, hi. Um, yeah, I got off. <laughs> it's the old lady again that's been, or based on what he said, she's harassing him, but honestly, it's just, she wants, she's just being friendly to him. Mm, have you had dinner yet? You're young. You'll need to eat up. Would you like to come to my house? I'm making your favorite nimono. Um, um, today I gotta... Um, that's right. I promise this kid I'd eat dinner with him. Um, he's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> Mm, oh, that's too bad. Well, next time then, good night. <laughs> good night, lady. I'll see you again in his next social link, more than likely. Um, she really sucks away my will to live. Um, can you imagine how awkward dinner would be just me and her? <laughs> yeah, since she thinks you're literally her grandson or son or I forgot what it was exactly. Um, I don't really like her Nimono anyway. The lotus root is too tough. Um, oh, um, sorry for using you like that. Um, you were a big help. Um, why not come over for real? Yeah, why not? Um, at Dojima-san's? Well, it isn't, it isn't that a generous offer. Adachi is looking at you in surprise. Um, but Dojima-san's still at work, right? Um, does that mean it'll be just us? Isn't that weird? Hmm, I'm a good cook. <laughs> yeah, the, our character's literally the only cook in the house. Um, you're seriously inviting me over. You don't think it'd be awkward? Adachi is looking at you like you're like a rare beef breed. Hmm. It's a weird look to give someone. Um, well, I am interested to see what you're like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. Hmm. Um, what did you do instead? 
Yeah, what did you do? Um, I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades are really mattered. Um, I didn't mind though. You give back as much as you put in. Everybody knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did as long as my grades were good, too. Um, but that's that works out when you're a student. Hmm. You don't enjoy yourself now? Hmm? Um, I don't know. Grown-ups um, have a lot of on their plates. Adachi gives a tired smile. Um, but I guess lately, um, things have been fun. I am it's nice to know there's something I'm good at. Haha, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Adachi seems to be working hard on solving the case. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Hmm. I think I understand him a little bit more. So he's not just some kind of comic relief, basically, even though he is the jester. Which, honestly, it's still cool to kind of, like, figure out him since we have the whole thing with Dojima where we can learn about him. So it's good to know that we can actually learn more about his partner as well. Partner in crime, basically. The Toru Adachi social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the jester arcana has grown as well. Um, oh, uh, we were talking about dinner. Um, sorry, not today. Maybe next time. Um, I'll just stop by someplace on my way. Um, back, so you make sure to hurry home. Yeah, before Dojima finds out we were just walking around talking to people. You parted ways with, with Adachi and went home. Okay, into 703. And since it's a Sunday, usually people call us. And I was right, so let's see here. Um, hello, this is Ayane. Um, do you have time to talk right now? Um, would you like to go somewhere with me today? Um, sure, since we need to kind of rank you up a little bit. Um, hey, um, please don't forget, okay? You decided to go out with Ayane. Okay, let's do it. I don't think this is going to be a social rank upgrade, but it's definitely going to be, like, basically full of filling up the points that we're missing for her. So this will actually be really good. Okina Station. You came here with Ayane. And also, we can actually go here now due to the fact that we have the scooter. If you um, ride the scooter enough, you can actually unlock the ability to come here. And some of the shops here are actually pretty good. I don't know what the coffee shop does, but I do know what the croco fur does. You can actually buy new clothes inside the croco fur shop, which is pretty cool. But other than that, let's continue with what is going on with Ayane here. Since it's definitely going to be like a more than one person thing, since Ayane is still off by a couple points for her next one. And I remember because there was no plus symbol next to her name before. So let's see here. Wow, a lot of new shops have opened. I, I'm i almost never here, so I don't keep up with the places very well. Hmm, okay. Um, I, do you have any suggestions? Um, anywhere you want. Yeah, anywhere you want to go. Since you asked me out to come here. Um, oh, um, thank you, you're too nice. No problem. Wherever you want to go. Um, why don't we start from... Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Dasuke. Um, huh? Isn't it Dasuke, senpai? Um, hey, what's up, Smooks? What a coincidence. Hey, bud. Long time no see. Uh, is this your girlfriend? Uh, that is a no on that one. She's way too young for me. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Way too young. Oh, well, uh, it's nice. Yeah, she's way too young. She's like first year high school. And I'm in like, what is it, like... What, my junior year of college? Yeah, that's way too di big of an age gap. No. And also, I'm not into that. That's just really weird. <laughs> really, really weird. Um, oh, I get it. Um, it's still a work of progress, uh, right? Hmm? Um, please don't tease Senpai. Uh, Senpai? Oh, you're from Yasugami High School, too. <laughs> um, he went to the same middle school, too, Senpai. Wait, he completely forgot about her? Today will surely be an entertaining day. You feel your relationship with Yane is going to become closer soon. You feel like your relationship with Ko and Dasuke is going to become closer soon as well. I like how it ended up becoming not just Ko's um, social link, but ended up becoming Dasuke's as well. I really do like that, because I really do enjoy Dasuke's character. The three of you spent some quality time together. Okay, with the evening now upon us, and that weird conversation about... Daisuke bringing up that Yane would even be Yu's girlfriend in the first place. Um, we actually have one thing I actually want to show you guys because I only showed it for like half a second, but I actually never actually showed you what it looked like because of the fact that it's, I was actually wanting to show you guys what the Jester Arcana looked like because I didn't know what the Jester Arcana even would look like until we finally got one, and I actually wanted to show you this to you a while ago. But I just got it this episode, so 
literally, we finally have it. So this guy is part of the Jester Arcanum, and this is the theme for the Jester Arcanum. So actually, it's pretty cool. It's actually not really Jester-like in my opinion, but honestly, I actually really like the design of it. And if this is how all the theme for the Jester Archon is going to be, I definitely think I'm going to like whatever we get from the Jester Archon when it comes to actually having things added to our party. So with that, let's actually head out with Chie, since we're more than likely going to be able to get a conversation out of this due to the fact that usually when you rank them up, they have a new conversation for nighttime, at least one. So let's see what Chie's up to. Um, yo, you haven't gotten home yet. Chie looks bored. Um, she might appreciate it if you talked with her. Since you have Aries, Persona of the Chariot Arcana, you feel like you'd become closer soon, should you spend the evening with Chie. Honestly, let's do it. Spend some time with Chie. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chie seems happy. And with that, let's see how Chie reacts to our next conversation. Oh yeah, final exams are this month. <laughs> um, the battle gets me mortal nemesis. Math begins again. People say it's easy once you have the formulas down, but if I could um, do that, I wouldn't have such a problem. Are you good at math, Spookskin? Mm -mm. Honestly, technically I like math, but technically I don't like it at the same time, so I'm actually going to go with this. Math is, my, is the enemy of mankind, which technically it is, let's be honest, since usually math has changed way too much to the point where you literally, the meaning of math becomes null and void at some points. So, literally, I honestly feel like that's the actual answer there. Um, oh, a kindred spirits. Yeah, math is truly mankind's most hated enemy. Well, no matter how much I gripe about it, the reality is that these upcoming exams aren't going to take themselves. Che is sighing deeply. Um, hey, can't we just start making plans for the summer? You think mountain hikes in the ocean and barbecues? Hmm, honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Hmm, you enjoyed your idle chat with Chie. You feel like your relationship with Chie has grown stronger, and you feel like your relationship with Chie could become stronger soon, which means we finally can now get rank 9 for Chie as soon as we get the ability to. Um, oh crap, how did it get so this late? I'd better get home and start studying. Um, oh yeah, this is for you. You obtained some tater longs. Oh yeah, we got those from the um, June S grocery store when we met the fox that one day. Um, it's really good. You should have some while you study for your exams. Well then, um, let's get home. Okay, we'll see you later, Chie. You walked Chie to her house and went home. And now it's 7 4 now upon us. I actually had a school time thing on the day for today, and it was actually a question for Yosuke, and it ended up ranking Yosuke up into his rank 10 conversation. And actually, this is gonna be our last day for today, so that's actually perfect. So we're finally getting the max rank for Yosuke in this episode and actually having one of our social links completely done today, which is really good, so I'll take it. Um, yo Spooks, can I talk to you for a minute? There's something I wanted to say. Yosuke seems tormented. Since you have Home Pom, a persona of the Magician Arcana, you feel like you could become closer soon. Would you spend? Will you spend the afternoon with Yosuke? Sure, let's do it. Um, I see. Thanks, man. Yosuke looks happy, and with that, we're finally finishing up Yosuke's, um, social link. And it's been a long time coming, so let's do this. Samagawa Riverbank. Yosuke brought you here a s Ryu, Ryu here a solemn look on his face. Um, there's something I wanna tell ya. What is it? Um, somewhere deep down, I didn't trust ya. No, it's more like I was jealous of ya. Hm? What do you mean by that? I thought you were like me. Coming from the city to the countryside, I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. Well, honestly, that's far from the truth. We're actually having quite a bit of fun. Um, but as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people, you're a hero. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. Hmm. I didn't know. Hmm. Didn't know that as well, actually. Um, I didn't know it either. You, when I called you simp special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be uh, acknowledged by you the most. Hmm. Honestly? Cool. Um, so, I want you to hit me. Hmm? Uh, that's a little sudden. Uh, give me one knockout all this crap inside of me. I want you to equal, be equal to the I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. So, come on. Hmm? Well, hitting Yosuke make you and him equal. Um, then let's get equal or alright, but you hit me first. Um, let's let him hit us first. 
All right, but it, you have to hit me first. Yeah, you do it first, bud. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Hmm. I got it now. More equal than I guess you're right. True. You do it first, and then I'll hit you back. Let's do it fair and square. Okay, I'm, here I come. Take your best shot. <laughs> Looks like we ended up hitting each. We ended up hitting each other at the same time. You brought it out with Yosuke. <laughs> Will that actually really make us closer? Apparently so, because this is our final social link. But that's pretty funny though. Ugh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like my character seeing stars too. We're literally both limp. Um, but thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but that sure beat words. <laughs> Honestly, true. Yosuke's face is peaceful. <laughs> uh, you can have this. You obtained Buddy's bandage. Hmm. If, uh, if you start bleeding, put that on. You know, we should fight more often. <laughs> Do you really want to? You literally look like you're not having a fun time right now. Uh, this guy is so high up. Is Soggy Senpai watching us? Is she smiling at us? Senpai, I'm going to live, um, without lying to myself. Without deceiving myself. Days like today, um, days like before, when I did nothing, they're all important days. <laughs> they're all days you didn't live to see. I'm going to live on them here. Yosuke is smiling gently. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, something's going on with them. And it looks like... Yosuke's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has been awakened his heart into true power. And I think I know what this means. And I was right. So his persona just completely got reborn into a completely new one. Which means he's technically two times stronger than he was before. Yosuke's persona has been reborn. Jiraiya has now transfigured into Suzano. Hmm. Honestly, a cool looking persona. I still like the Jiraiya look, but honestly, Suzano's not bad looking at all as well. I wonder if there's a third one in this game, kind of like in uh, P5 Royal, where there was a third transformation. I wonder if that's a, that's a thing in this game. But if it were, it would be through another conversation, right? But honestly, I don't even know when that would be, because in P5, that's at the end of the game, is when you get that. So honestly, I hope we would end up being able to get like a four, like another evolution because that would mean we can like mix both of those together if that's the case because that actually would make it even better in a way um this is my power the power to protect what's dear to me <laughs> just what i wanted <laughs> uh let's keep at it so we can live every day with a smile later <laughs> you can feel yosuke's warm trust you feel a tight bond between you and yosuke and with that we finally maxed out our first and first of the many arcanas in the game. And now the magician is now complete, which means we get the max bonus from actually making magician arcana stuff. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow, bestow upon you the ability to become, make Mata the ultimate form in the magician arcana, which now means we can make the strongest of the magicians and although we're, we can make it, it's going to be like a level 80, let's be honest. The Yosuke Hanamura Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Yosuke Hanamura Social Link. Your power to create personas in the Magician Arcana has reached its maximum. Spooks, um, Spooks has forged a bond that cannot be broken by mastering the Magician Social Link. You can now fuse Mana, the Intoxicator. The Intoxicator? Yosuke's growth apart has affected his persona as well. Okay, and that would make sense. So what does he actually get? Oh, okay, so just like in, um, okay, so that's good. So that means he's going to be able to dodge, um, electricity a little bit easier, which is really good for him. Okay, so what would we actually transform that for? I haven't seen any use for panic, so I'm going to say get rid of panic then. So Tentrafu for evade electric. Sounds like a good idea. So let's do that instead. Wow, that's level 40 for his next thing. Jeez, that's actually quite a bit. Well, we're all counting on you, partner. <laughs> true, true. And I'm counting on you, Yosuke. You spent a long while with Yosuke. And with that, into the evening section. And this will be our final thing we're doing. So if there's nothing to do, I guess we'll find out. So let's see here. So we do have one thing we can do. And I feel like we should do one thing first. So I'm actually going to do the um, vegetables real quick, just because... Um, well, I kind of feel like it's kind of weird to just do a random cut here because literally I just want to grab our vegetables real quick and then replant. 
you don't get any conversations for this. I'm just doing it just so you know what I'm doing. Because this is how you literally do this. You just literally tell Nanako you want to get some plants and then you can use these plants inside the dungeons. So let's just do that real quick and now we can actually get to where we were actually wanting to go. So let's go see what Adachi's doing now. So with that, let's go and um, progress in Adachi's um, rank and see what's going on here. Um, hey, it's you. Great, a student who's parties at night. Um, I'm so exhausted from work. I need to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. Nachi doesn't seem to have eaten or dinner yet. Since you have Guri, Persona of the Jester Arcana, you feel like you will become closer soon. If you spend the time with Adachi, will you ask Adachi over for dinner? Sure, let's do it. Um, huh? What? Um, oh, I guess we talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. You headed to Dojima's residence with Adachi. And with that, let's ho head over to um, Dojima's house and let's make him something to eat. Dojima's residence living hall room. You brought Adachi here for dinner. <laughs> Wonder what we're going to actually end up making him, to be completely honest. Um, big brown, the potatoes are still hard. And well, it's going to take a couple time, a couple hours, or not hours, but it's going to take like an hour to cook potatoes, let's be honest. Um, today we're having shoe. Um, shoe. Um, you mean stew. Um, yeah, shoe, stew. Um, hey, you did it. Um, do you like stew, Adachi son? Hmm, uh, yeah, kind of. Um, kind of. I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I had some. So, do you cook like this all the time? I bet Dojima-san tells you that, um, all the time what a great help you are. Um, nope. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. He barely, um, says thank you. Um, I knew it. He's probably just embarrassed. <laughs> and Donchik smiles. Um, so I heard you were moving back into in the spring. I bet Dojima-san's going to cry. Hmm, maybe. Well, Nanako's definitely going to. Nanako is looking down sadly. Um, sorry. Um, that's still a long way away. True it is. Um, yeah. Aw, poor Nanako. Um, hey Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Um, now watch closely. Adachi clutches the 500 yen coin. You watching? The 500 yen coin disappeared. Hmm, how did that work? I think I know how that trick works, but I'm I'm gonna go with it for now. I think um how he ends up doing it is um you put it in your hand like this, and then when you're doing it like this, you slide it into your sleeve, basically. I think that's how that works. But I could be completely wrong. I've never actually done that trick myself. But I'm gonna say that's probably how you do it. Wait, how? Why? Again, do it again. <laughs> uh nah, this time I'll show you an even better one. Hmm? An even better one, you say? Um, look in your big bro's pockets. Hmm? The 500 yen coin was in your pockets. Wait, what? Um, wow, you're the best, Adachi-san. Um, that was a surprise. Yeah, it was. Um, uh, I'm pretty good with my hands, so it comes easy to me. Um, that sounded wrong. <laughs> More wrong than it needed to be, but honestly, it was still funny. I think it means by sleight of hand, actually. Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Um, maybe I should have been a magician. Then I wouldn't be in such a... Um, well, I guess there's no job like government. Uh, like a government job. It's not like I can make a living working with my hands. Adachi shrugs. You feel like you know Adachi a little bit more. Hmm, I think so too, actually. <laughs> he definitely is a little trickster, ain't he? And honestly, I actually really like that. I really like his, um, his whole social link so far, so it's actually pretty cool. The Toru Adachi social link has reached level 4. Your powder trait personas of the Jester Arcana has grown as well. Hmm. Um, that smell, uh, that's smelling pretty good. I think the shoe's about ready. <laughs> um, it's still... Uh, Shiatsu. <laughs> shoe. Well, you said shoe again. Um, uh, wrong. No, I said it right. <laughs> the three of you spent a fun evening together. Honestly, it was fun. I like that into 7-5, but it's, I'm more than likely, yep, literally nothing to do. And literally just waiting for Risei to recover. So that's, honestly, I had quite a fun episode today. 
We got a lot done, we maxed out one of our social links, and we also finally got to start with Kanji's social link, and we also started um, pushing up Nanako's and Adachi's social links, which we weren't able to do before, so honestly, I had quite a big, big amount of fun today, so with that, thank y'all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. And more than likely, we're going to be continuing on with the free time stuff, so we'll more than likely probably finish up Chie's rank, I think. So we'll go for our second max rank in the next episode, I think. So in that, thank y'all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank y'all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank y'all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.